Welcome back. This is lesson two on Python. Last time we started with the variables. So we re you remember that a equals five uh, makes a block and puts a five in it, right? And then b equals a plus one references that block, takes whatever's in that block, adds one to it, and puts it into another block called b. So a in fact, we can do a plus b, which actually takes values from both blocks and adds them together. And say e c equals a plus b is also valid. So c it puts it in another block called c. And now c contains the value of 11. So uh, in fact what we can do is we can create a variable that contains more than one value and uh, how do we do that let's have a, a variable called point it, that they don't all have to be one letter they can be longer so let's call the variable called point and in fact uh, we're gonna have these brackets which means that we're gonna specify more than one value a B C so it's gonna have an X Y and a Z coordinate it's gonna po be a point in three dimensions and if we print out point we have a tuple this is called a tuple this is actually called a threepole because uh, there's three values but it's tuple because you can't change anything inside so we can also define point for example as a uh, point equals a comma b so now point only has two dimensions right point so if we can access the uh, individual values of the point tuple using this notation the square notation point of the zero and point of one so the zeroth element is actually the first element uh, that might be a little bit confusing. The zeroth element actually points to the first element, and the first element uh, points to the second element in uh, the tuple. That is programming convention. Uh, you just kind of have to learn that. So, uh, what else can we do with tuples? Well, we can add tuples. So, if we have a point and we have point two uh, equals, uh, let's say, five ten, uh, we can actually do uh, point plus point two, and the uh, add. Uh, it elongates the tuple, it makes a longer tuple with both of the values, right? So it's not quite the same. To actually add the values inside the tuple, we'd have to say point, uh, w point of zero plus point one of zero, uh, and that will, uh, uh, sorry, point of um, zero plus point two. Uh, because my other tuple is point two of zero, that will give us the sum of the x coordinates, and then the same thing can be done with the y coordinate. Thank you. Have a nice day, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.